When I was growing up, I really didn't think that there's anything that I can do. To me, it was more like a challenge. I always have to do everything twice as hard than everybody else for the most part. For the most part, it's been just try to prove a point to everybody. My name is Jan Dvorak. Uh, first name is J-A-N, last name is spelled out D-V-O-R-A-K. Uh, I'm working at the dive locker at Panama City Beach. Uh, I'm an instructor trainer for uh, several agencies, public safety diver and a technical diver, rebreather diver. Having a treads, it's like when you wake up in the morning and all of a sudden you got the feeling like you forgot something. So you wake up in the morning, you know, go bio business, and all of a sudden you're looking at a mirror, you're like, man, I'm missing something. And you can figure out what it is. And uh, all of a sudden it just clicks in the head. And there it is, you know? So it's like, every day it's like, surprise. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's uh, what I call it is the part of the package. The most awkward moment, it probably would be getting somebody by surprise. It's actually funny a little bit. <laughs> because they don't know what it is until I have to explain and uh, say, hey, you know, it's nothing major, it's just threats. Um, I've never taken any classes with him, so I'm not, you know, I don't know how his Tourette's is while he's teaching, but while he's diving, um, you know, he, he's up there with the best of them. Uh, I would dive anywhere, any, any cave, any depth, you know, any technical dive. I mean, the guy's on point in the water. My name is Chris Ball. I own Performance Scuba in Dothan, Alabama. I'm a technical diving instructor and part of a public safety dive team. You know, I don't know a lot about it. I think that it is not necessarily a physical handicap, even though some people may think that. Um, I think that it is um, something that's going on with the brain um, that causes those reactions. You know, I'm no expert at it, but um, you know, once, like I said, once Jan gets in the water, it's like it goes away. So I think people um, that have Tourette's, if they're thinking about trying to dive, I, I would encourage them to do so. Scuba diving was something that I always wanted to do since I was like seven years old. <laughs> well, when I told my parents what I was trying to do, they didn't believe, want to believe me at first. They thought that there might be a little bit of issue here and there. Tourette's doesn't affect me as much underwater because there's a lot going on and there's a lot that is taken away from the surface that I don't have to deal with underwater so the whole entire environment being much more calmer and everything that comes with it your vision goes into technically a tunnel vision and you're focusing on what you have to do so some things you're just gonna have to leave at the surface and this is one of those things uh, it doesn't I don't think it does follow me all the way down there. And that's a good thing that it doesn't. Uh, like I said, create a tunnel vision or whatnot and just focusing on the task and see what you're doing so you don't even really have it too much time to think about it. Uh, less you think about it, the less you do it. My dive buddies, uh, my dive instructors, everybody who's around me now and have been around me for the past, you know, 18 something years and especially in the dive community for a long time. Uh, everybody's been really understandable and knows how it works. Uh, what there is though, it's the first reaction. Uh, people have questions, you know, looking at you funny or not. Uh, as far as in the personal life or challenges in the life as it is, everyday basis, uh, relationships, friends, career as far as the diving goes and everything else that I do. I can say that I've been really lucky about it. I don't think there's ever gonna be a day when the threats is gonna cause an issue when diving because if it, there would be a day, it would already happen and I'm sitting here today. If there's anybody that's got second thoughts, about their dreams and what they ever wanted to do. Uh, me personally, I had that buck stuck in my head forever that 
it was all about to proving the fact that I can do anything that there is. If I want to become an astronaut tomorrow, why not? Okay, that was always my approach. And uh, my problem, my best motto, they always go and buy, it's make it happen. So either way, if it's for me or for somebody else, trying to make them accomplish their dreams, absolutely. Stop wasting the time, go for it, do it. It's definitely worth it. It might change your life, uh, like scuba diving, scuba diving done to me. Uh, I can say it definitely changed my life. And the people that I'm surrounded with, uh, on the top of everything, I, I couldn't ask for any better.